Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Alex Linker. Today is Thursday, April 20th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Wolfpack Performing Arts is proud to present Ranked, the musical. Showings are April 21st, 22nd, 28th, and 29th. Friday shows will be at 7 p.m., Saturdays are at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Premium tickets are $15, and general admission is $10. Don't miss it. The Spring 2023 Career and Culture Fair is being hosted today at Monterey Trail High School from 6.30 to 8 p.m. This is your chance to find out about local salaries and on-the-job training for future employment. If you're planning to earn a one- to two-year certificate or interested in transferring into a four-year college, then this is the event for you. And now, let's pass on over to Damon and Angelina for In the News. Hello Wolfpack, I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Angelina Duarte, and this is your In the News Update. This morning, the Republican-controlled House passed legislation that would ban transgender women and girls from competing in female school athletics. Bill H.R. 734 passed the House with a 219 to 203 vote and was made by Republican Greg Stube. The bill would violate Title IX for federally funded education programs to allow people assigned male at birth to participate in sports teams or in events designated for women. SpaceX's unmanned rocket, the Starship, exploded minutes after launch this morning. The explosion happened just days after the Starship's flight was delayed due to a frozen valve. Some of the 33 engines did not ignite, but SpaceX still saw the launch as a success and will review the data collected as they continue to work towards another flight. The Starship is the most powerful rocket ever developed and is set to play a role in NASA's Artemis program, which is set to return humans to the moon on, in 2025. A manhunt is currently underway in North Carolina for a suspect alleged to have shot a six-year-old girl, her father, and a third person after a basketball rolled into his yard. Jonathan Robertson, who has lived in the Gaston County neighborhood for a decade, said the suspect, 24-year-old Robert Lewis Singletary, was well known for yelling at the neighborhood kids. Police said Singletary went into his home after someone came to retrieve the ball, came out with the gun, and started firing, firing wildly at his neighbors. As parents were rushing to flee with their children, William White and his six-year-old daughter were struck, with another woman suffering a graze wound. That's all the news we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. The Society of Women Engineers is hosting Project Aspire again. This is an event to help young women get the resources they need to be successful in a career in engineering. It will be free and virtual event on Saturday, May 20th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Alex Linker. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Lima, Lima Bean Respect Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.